these are preventable deaths. That's why this is absurd. That's why people are angry because the women who have died could still be here raising their kids. So my name is Emma Robinson. I am the digital organizer for the AFIA Center. Um, we are a black women's reproductive justice organization that is based in Dallas, uh, but we also do work across the state. The AFIA Center is dedicated to um, transforming black women's lives with reproductive justice. That's a big mandate, right? So the way that we intend to do that is by creating spaces where people can learn about what it is that is happening, but also create the communities that they're going to need to survive. So much of the rhetoric around the restrictive access to um, like family planning centers wanting people to become mothers. I mean, whether they like it or not, or whether they want to or not. <laughs> um, so we have been asking ourselves, uh, why are so many black women dying? Um, if this is if this is the goal. Um, and also, why is it not as important for those elected uh, to represent us as it is uh, for those of us on the ground who are having to deal with the onslaught of um, black death in this way? In Texas, black women are twice as likely to die attempting uh, to pursue the goal of motherhood um, as other women in this state, um, which doesn't mean that other women aren't dying. Um, Texas's maternal mortality rate in general is pretty absurd um, for a state that says that it values mothers. What if in any given neighborhood, um, when someone died, we had a discussion about how that happened? How did we get here? Did anybody look in on her after she had that baby? Did anybody help her get to the doctor's office? Did anybody get pissed off about the fact that the state cut her health insurance after she had that baby? Like those kinds of things, that doesn't happen. And that is the world that is going to change the, the landscape. Um, and so that is the world that the AFIA Center is bringing into fruition um, through our work um, and through our commitment, not only to transforming black women's lives, but also in a lot of ways saving them.